Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, March 16th through the 22nd, 2020. Watch this reading if you are a Virgo sun sign, Virgo moon, Virgo rising, Virgo on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the sixth house or Venus in Virgo, watch this reading. For your reading today, we are using the Tarot Mucha as my primary tarot deck. Towards the end of the year reading, we will pull uh, some cards from the Numinous, the Astro deck, to see what sign you may be dealing with this week. Oops, sorry about that. Let me just get the camera refocused here. All right. I'm having some trouble with that focusing. Also, we will be pulling a message from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart to see what heart-based guidance we can give you for the week ahead. Hopefully that sounds good. Uh, just keep in mind, guys, these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, as I always say, please come get a personal private tarot reading from me or your favorite tarot reader. Awesome. Let's get started. Virgo, we are looking at six cards for your week ahead. We're going to look at how you see yourself today. What is the theme for you over the next week? What is something that Virgo has already learned in their past? that will be helpful for them to remember this week, a challenge they may be facing, a lesson they're learning now, and a gift they will receive. For all my Virgos out there. Virgo, March 16th through the 22nd. Show me the six cards for Virgo, please. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Virgo on the house cusp. Sun in the 6th house and Venus in Virgo, March 16th through the 22nd. Two more shuffles, guys. So Virgo, I'm getting a message here that you may be ignoring someone. Uh, this could be you are just not paying attention to them anymore. You have, I'm hearing, you don't have the time of day to deal with this person. Um, it could also be that um, you're no longer focused on the object of your affection. Um, now, it may feel like they've slipped through your fingers, but I also am getting that um, you just can't be bothered. You, you can't be bothered to, to, to even weigh the pros and cons of a situation. Um, you may actually just be ignoring someone, like ignoring a message. Um, this could be, you may be ignoring an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. I'm getting a Gemini. Or you, yeah, you just no longer, you're just no longer focused on this person. You just have better things to do. So Virgo, how you see yourself today, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is sort of a similar energy. I am getting that um, some restlessness here. It could be that you're looking for a sign. Um, I'm also seeing that none of the offers that have come in or none of the opportunities um, that you've recently been involved with have really sparked your interest and you're just kind of bored right now. And I'm getting that maybe an opportunity did come in or a message came in, but it didn't really move you. So I am getting some listlessness, some boredom, some apathy, a feeling of um, kind of having the blahs, kind of having the just whelmed feeling, just feeling whelmed, you know, from a clueless. Um, so maybe you feel like Cheryl from, from, from clueless, but let's see the theme for you over the next week. Ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this talks about ongoing setbacks, delays, and confusion. It can indicate bad luck or things are just not going our way. So what I always like to say is when that happens, it's best to kind of go with the flow and not try and force anything. Um, back away from situations. If it's not coming easily to you, if it's um, 
causing a, if it's creating a reaction for you or, or causing a lot of trouble, I'm not saying just give up on your first try, but definitely pay attention to things that come easily and come naturally for you as opposed to situations that you feel like you have to force yourself to do in order for them to get going. Because what I'm seeing here is that something is not going in your favor or something is taking a lot of time here. Something is really, um, you're, you may be waiting for waiting on a message, waiting on opportunity. It's really just not coming. And what we don't want you to do is to waste your time hoping, looking for a sign, waiting, feeling bored. Um, maybe there's more productive uses of your time. And this could have to do with, you know, a specific person, a situation, a job situation, a love situation, um, that kind of thing. So something here is just not going in your favor. Of course, we have Jupiterian energy here. This is Sag energy and we have Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming up. So I don't know, you could be dealing with any of those signs. Something that Virgo has already learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week. And we have the Five of Swords in reverse. So with the Five of Swords in reverse, this is about a conflict that did not produce any winners. Um, it created a lot of defeat in you and your, I would just say, opponent or the person that you are dealing with. Um, there was a lot lost here. There was no winner. Um, either it was nasty words spoken or someone trying to one-up someone here. Um, there's a feeling of loss, a feeling of defeat. I'm kind of getting that some, some battles, some conflicts are really not worth your time. This is a card that also talks about what happens after the fight. Is there mediation that occurs? Uh, are people ready to come to the table and provide a solution or to acknowledge their role in the conflict? And because um, this can be pretty nasty, whatever this is. And usually when I see this card in reverse, um, it usually is a situation in which neither party feels responsible and neither party really wants to talk about it. But this is the time after fighting. Um, so maybe there was some sort of conflict in your past. So what did you learn from that situation? How did you regroup after that? How did you mediate? How did you come back to the table? Or did you? Did you just walk away? So the challenge you'll be facing this week, we have a Queen of Wands in reverse. So you may be dealing with a fire sign this week, a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Now, this may be a feminine energy. Um, I am seeing someone here who's really mean. Okay, she is coming up in her shadow element. This is someone who's a real bitch. Um, she can be like the mean girl in class, you know, claws out here, um, nasty, cruel. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but someone here is having a, their period this week and it's not going well. So it could be PMS, whatever it is. I feel like you're dealing with someone here who's really mean. Um... She is capable, this type of person is capable of using black magic. Okay, so you do want to stay away. If this happens to be you, Virgo, and this is like an aspect of your personality, um, some things are just really not worth your time. I would really be careful of pushing, pushing people to their limit or pushing yourself um, because, yeah, I'm getting someone that's really pushy here, really pushy. I'm really forceful, really domineering. Um, they may say things that are hurtful or they may act in ways that are hurtful. So we really want to be careful with this energy. And the lesson you're learning now, we have a king of wands here. So I am seeing a couple, but they are coming up reversed. So you may be dealing with your partner, significant other, baby mama, baby daddy, what have you this week. And... So the King of Wands reverse is similar to the Queen of Wands. I'm almost getting that um, it's almost the same. Either you're dealing with the same energy or the same person or two very similar people. Um, I feel like both people are coming up reversed for a reason, though. You know, the King of Wands, when he's reversed, he has an agenda and he's not afraid to use people to get what he wants. This is also someone who can be very aggressive. Um, they may also go overboard with affection in order to prove that they really do love you. Um, this is a, just a generally, that this is an asshole here, okay? I'm looking at these two cards. You could be dealing with a uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Sagittarius. This is my Sagittarius male card. 
but he is coming up as the lesson that you're learning now. This person looks really pissed off. Um, they, these two people look like they're not talking to each other. They're pissed off. This is a very aggressive, I'm getting like passive aggressive energy. Um, so I think you have to really ask yourself, how. what is this accomplishing? Okay, because I'm almost getting like a staring contest here. Um, how is this situation being resolved? Is it being resolved? Something here is not going anywhere. This is like, it just feels like I'm getting time waster or I'm getting someone's wasting your time and they're pissing, it's pissing you off or you feel like you're wasting your time with this person or this situation. I feel like this has to do with a job or I'm getting someone's very disorganized. They're not focused or we're not learning here. We're not using our energy. I'm almost surprised that the magician is not coming up reversed in this reading. Because someone here, I feel like, is not using their God-given gifts for their highest purpose. Um, I kind of feel like someone's just wasting their time. So let's see what your gift is this week. Oh, King of Swords reversed. Okay. We've got some real characters coming up in your reading this week, Virgo. So you may be dealing with an air sign by the end of the week here. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I am seeing that at the bottom of the deck. There is a page of swords uh, coming up underneath the deck here. So with the king of swords in reverse, this is someone who can be verbally abusive. They're very aggressive. You may be dealing with someone in law enforcement or the military. This is someone who um, takes the law into their own hands then. And also this is someone who is definitely lying. They are not telling the truth. They may say that they're going to do something or they may come off as very, very vicious, very aggressive. I've seen the King of Swords personally in reverse come up as your worst enemy, your adversary. This can be someone who is like an evil landlord, a slumlord, someone who, yeah, you really just don't, you really need to be careful around this person because, um, you know, they'll file the necessary paperwork um, to kick you out of a living situation. I mean, they are not afraid to take drastic measures to get what they want. And they're not the nicest about it. And I mean, you could really find yourself in some, like these people are not playing, okay? I don't know who you're dealing with here, Virgo. You need to be very, very, very careful. Be very, very, very careful. I'm almost getting that if you ignore this person, this is just adding fuel to their fire. So, um, I almost kind of feel, well, I want to say, I, I kind of feel bad for you this week. I do. And I don't often say that. And I don't want you to feel scared, worried. But I feel like you have some very aggressive energies coming at you. And you do need to be prepared. So let's see, what sign is Virgo dealing with this week? March 16th through the 22nd. Who is Virgo dealing with this week? Seventh house. Okay, so seventh house is Libra. All right, and this is someone that you are relating with. Um, also, seventh house rules like sort of marriage, um, serious long-term relationships, someone you are in a long-term relationship with. I'm seeing the scales here, so definitely Libra. Um... So this could be your marriage partner, uh, this could be your ex-wife, ex-husband, marriage partner, um, baby mama, baby daddy, that kind of thing. So seventh house is about partnership, companionship, best friends. Okay, so this, this could be your best friend or I would say friend of me at this point. A uh, marriage, relationship, opposition, equilibrium, uh, equilibrium sharing, communion, justice, balance, and social awareness. So. And also seventh house themes will be coming up for you this week. So just keep that in mind. All right. So let's see. What is your advice for Virgo? And we have sacral chakra. Interesting. So your sacral chakra would be your um, second highest chakra. First chakra would be base chakra. Second chakra is, I'll give you a little idea here. So here's a little guidance. You can see it's right there on the navel and your sacral chakra deals with sexuality and creativity. 
So you could have some repressed, um, maybe repressing your sexuality here, or some of you just need to get laid. And there's a lot of sexual energy here that needs expression, that needs healing. Um, of course, eating oranges, wearing the color orange, um, if you can use orange or neroli essential oil this week, put it on your um, pulse points here, your pressure points. Um, there is a lot of orange red energy coming up here, so I'm also getting base chakra and sacral chakra coming up. Um, so this is really about also I'm getting if you can relieve some of this energy through creative pursuits. So when you get home, I would recommend, you know, if you have a very like, let's say your job is not creative at all, or you have been feeling like you just are not expressing your sexuality, you haven't been able to express yourself. I'm feeling a lot of energy is getting, it's kind of getting pent up is what I'm getting. And this could be with regards to a serious relationship where your needs are not being met or a job where your needs are not being met in this area. So you need creative outlets. You need outlets for your sexuality. These things need expression. Um, and I feel like they're coming out passive aggressively. That's kind of what I'm getting. So they're not being expressed. So they're coming out in ways that are harmful to you and harmful to others. And likewise, of course, this could be with regards to the person you're dealing with. They may be also going through the same thing. So Virgo, this is your weekly reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope it's been helpful. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. If you would like to book a private reading with me, my information is below in the description. Until next time, have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching.